All right, we are testing a Zenith DVB412, D as in dog, V as in Victor, B as in boy, 412. All the uh, description is going to be typed down below the video, so if you want any more information on this unit uh, and where it's going to be sold, uh, check the description below. So right now we're going to plug it in. We're going to test out the remote as well as uh well the cables are going to be included but they're going to be like that we're not going to open those and then we're going to taste all the functionality of the unit so right now we're going to install some batteries in the remote i don't know if you can see it's pretty clean no rust no nothing we'll put in a couple of batteries and first so first test is we're going to see through the phone if the batteries work can we see, can we see, can we see? Uh, barely see the light. So you can see remote's working perfectly fine. Batteries are not included once again, but we're gonna test it with these batteries. So we're gonna plug this unit in to the TV. Video. I'm gonna be using the RCA jacks for this. And next, we are going to have power to the unit. All right, here we go. We should have power. There it goes. It says hello. And as you can see on the TV, it's picking up the signal. So now we're going to eject with the control. And put in a test DVD. Again, with the control, we're going to close the drawer. Wait for the DVD to load. Try that again. Put another DVD. It's not right. All right, there we have the DVD has loaded up. Let's turn off the light for now so we can see the TV. So now we are going to test once again. We're going to get off the menu. We had to change a couple settings on the menu. should be set up by the time you get this. So we're going to hit play on the DVD. And it brings us to the screen. We're going to try to focus on the DVD and the screen at the same time so we can see everything that's going on. So we can see the on-screen menu right there. So now we are going to hit play and the DVD is going to start playing. So we're going to wait for some audio feedback. Turn up the... Audio is working good. Now we are going to skip chapter there he goes I'm gonna hit the stop button to see what it does get this screen right here and stop again now we are gonna open the drawer with the buttons on the DVD. We already know that works with the remote. And now we are going to turn on the light one more time. Alright, now we're going to eject it with this button. This is the DVD that we used. If anybody 
is interested. Now we're going to close this. We all use the remote to turn it off. As you can see that, and I believe the remote is also turns off the TV, but it's not programmed. But it does have a TV uh, button. So to turn it on, we use this button. You can see it says hello on the screen, that screen. And it should be, once again, eject works. And close. Eject on here. Uh, these buttons also work. Let's go ahead and test those. All the buttons on the DVD player. Starting with the eject button to input the DVD. Alright, you recognize it as a DVD. It's loading up the menu. Again, we're going to scoot this up a little bit so we can see both. That's the uh, welcome screen. So now we're going to hit play from here. Next button is the pause button. Pause. It paused. Then we have to hit play again to get it going back up. We're going to do forward, hold forward, play to take it on a fast forward. Let's do fast forward again. Go 2x, that's it. Let's go up on the screen so you can see what's going on on the top. So I'm going to hold forward, and it does 2x, 4x, 16x, 100x, and back to 2x. So we have to hit play to take it off of that. Now we're going to do the rewind button. Skip one chapter back. Hold back rewind. 2x, hold it again. 4x, hold it again. 16x, hold it again, 100x, hold it again, back to 2x. So. <clears throat> and now we have the stop button, which is the stop pause, and you hit stop one more time, and it will take you off of the DVD. So now we hit the eject button, and it, you can see on the screen. Now what about with the remote? There's the, and you can see it closes it. It's going to look for the DVD. There's no DVD, so it's just going to tell you there's no DVD on the disc. And now we are going to power off the DVD. So there you go. It's a fully working uh, DVB. Let's see if I can zoom in on this. I don't think we're going to focus. Alright, it's a working DVB412 Zenith uh, DVD player. There you go. Alright, so I was going to pack it up and I forgot one more detail. I already got it ready for packing. The cables are stripped off. This is in a bag. The cables are tied up. It uses two AAA batteries. So here we have two AAA batteries that make the remote work. All right, there you go. Enjoy.